what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today in this video we're going to talk about nine mega cap stocks in this video but before we get started please hit that thumbs up button that is greatly appreciated and that really helps out with YouTube algorithm and if you want to support the channel and get my daily trade ideas my swing trade ideas three days of live trading in my discord definitely check out the patreon I'll leave a link down below in the description and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing and now let's get right into it guys so we got a big week ahead next week a lot of earnings from banks and then we got mega names like Tesla and also Netflix and IBM reporting earnings on Wednesday take a screenshot of this and definitely we're going to see some volatility in the market with those big earnings coming next week and here's my Twitter account and if you're on Twitter you can give me a follow and this is especially for my YouTube subscribers you can get in touch with me right here on Twitter and also these are some expected moves on the market and especially a mega cap like Tesla and then we have Netflix a $40 move with that earnings so that's gonna be massive for the market guys if this thing breaks out we're going to see 500 on Netflix like I said or possibly going all the way down to 400 Tesla also with a big move over 300 or down to 257.49 so these are some expected moves for next week you can screenshot this right here and if you are on Twitter you can also look at some of my plays also posting my videos on the stock market and uh, this is uh, right here on uh, Friday guys an easy trade on Netflix uh, taking calls on Netflix at uh, 448 and selling out at 456 also you got another one Nvidia and that thing actually I was read on Nvidia now I added on Friday on that massive move 478 I think that's where I added more puts on Nvidia and then this thing came down and definitely paid and now I got two runners left on Nvidia and those are green on the day so these plays are available on patreon give it a try and you can also support the channel by doing that and now let's have a look at Apple stock on Apple stock it was a flat day on Friday but if you look at it once again holding above all the moving averages here on this daily chart and also holding above 190 which is a critical level on Apple stock we did get that pullback down to 189.63 slightly under 190 but then again this thing went back up and now closing at over 190 so Apple stock here guys next week 190 will be a critical level but below that we have white line 20 SMA right here and that is right here in between 189 to 188 and that's gonna be a strong support and then we have this channel right here and that is around 187 to 186 to the upside Apple stock can hold 190 we're going to see a push to retest this all-time high 190 for 48 and then possibly moving higher all the way up to 200 on Meta, it's down 1.45%, and Friday, Meta was running again all the way up to almost 315, and then we saw a pullback with the market coming down and closing the gap at 308, and now holding above 308, holding there is a support right here. Below 308, we also have support down here at close to 305, rising blue line 5 SMA, and then strong support down here, the breakout support 300. Now, Meta can actually break. 316 then there is gonna be more upside this thing can move even higher but I think meta here guys this thing needs a pullback immediately because this thing is extremely overbought on the weekly chart and we haven't seen any significant pullback on meta I mean these are some small pullbacks on meta like four three dollars but if you look at it guys so many gaps and this thing just kept running and now over 300 that is massive so i think a pullback on meta is healthy but i don't know if we're going to get that on meta anytime soon so watch the price action above 300 this thing definitely bullish and we're going to see that continuation to the upside below 300 this big support then we could see some downside possibly down to even 290 to retest rising white line 20 SMA once again 
And just like I said in my last video, we're going to see at least retest of this all time high on Microsoft right here, 351.47, or possibly going to get a new all time high. Well, we didn't really get a new all time high, but it was really close, guys. Another gap up on Microsoft from 343.74, and now this thing is up on Friday, 0.75%, almost 1% for the day. And this thing ran over 350 and looks like going into next week, we could possibly see a pullback down to this gap, 343.74. And if that holds, this thing can continue that run all the way back up to a new all time high. And that's going to be 355. So watch out here on Microsoft. But if this thing breaks below 343.74, after filling this gap, then watch out for the support at 339 and then the gap below 333 right here where we gapped up again on that CPI. So two gaps below on Microsoft, but this thing looks strong and ready to run again and possibly will hit a new all time high once again. On Amazon stock, it's up 0.28% and look at this massive run on Friday. Once again, Amazon running all the way up to 137. Now we do have another gap on Amazon and that is around 138. And early as next week, we could see Amazon filling also that gap on top at 138. And if that holds, there's going to be more upside on Amazon. Now if you look at it, this thing also getting really overbought and overstretched right here, trading above upper Bollinger Band. And that is why we saw that pullback on Friday. But look at this, guys. It's holding 134 as a support. Now, below that, we left a gap open here around 131.26. So 134 gives up. We're going to see this gap getting closed on Amazon. And that is around 131. And that should be a dip buying zone on Amazon stock. Below that, we also have support rising white line 20 SMA, 129 and then lower Bollinger Band down here at 124. To the upside, all Amazon needs to do, hold 134, and then we could see a move all the way up to 138 plus on Amazon, and that is possible going into next week. And also guys, I think the following week, we're going to get the earnings from Amazon also, and that is gonna be massive for the market. On Google stock is up 0.70%. Now, if you look at it, guys, this market is insane, and especially mega names like Google. I mean, look at the run. This thing coming down here to what, 115, 116, and the gap is right below 113.51, and that is still within this flag, but not quite closing this gap down here. And now we got two more gaps, 118.23, 120.96, and Google stock ran again on Friday, all the way up to 127. So this is a massive breakout from this bull flag and now if this thing does not come down at least down to 123 this big breakout support i would say do not chase this stock at this moment yes this is a breakout this thing can run but smart traders never chase anything let the stock at least retest this breakout let it come down to 123 possibly down to 121 to close at least this gap and that would be a dip buy on Google stock. Now above 123, this thing already touching 127. So if this thing can stay above 123, we're going to see that push all the way up to 130 on Google and then possibly even more upside. On a pullback, 123 a key level and then watch out for 120 to 121, this gap down here and then the gap below at 118.23. On AMD stock, it's absolutely flat on Friday, but look at this massive run with this nasty rejection candle on Friday, and that is not looking good going into next week, even though AMD stock closing above all the moving averages here on this daily chart. Now, if you look at it, guys, this stock ran because Nvidia stock ran, and then got exhausted and then we saw that pullback a lot of people selling out and taking profit and also if you look at it upper bollinger band sitting at 121 and the stock was trading at 122 so we saw that rejection this thing came down also took out the support 118 and then now if you look at it just holding above 114 to 115 holding above 
white line 20 SMA on this daily chart. So we do have strong support between 114 and 115 on AMD and below that down here rising red line 50 SMA 111.41. To the upside AMD can break 118. We're going to see that continuation and in that case AMD can move back up to 121.71 and then possibly up to even 125 to 130. On Nvidia stock is down 1.10%. Now we talked about it before in my video and even on Thursday night that Nvidia closing above 450 getting extremely overbought but do not count the stock out because even with that condition extremely overbought Nvidia can run and I did put a price target on top and that is 485 and if you look at it on Friday guys this thing exploded all the way up to almost 481 and then we saw that massive rejection and the same day this thing gave away $30 came all the way back down to 450 which is the support got a big bounce off of that level and now trading at 454.69 now next week we also got a big move on Nvidia I think it's like uh, $23 so to the upside again it's possible Nvidia runs all the way up to 485 or to the downside 450 breaks. In that case, Nvidia can come all the way down to 439.35 to close this gap and retest this all time high as a support. So watch out for that on Nvidia. Below 440, watch out for this gap down here 427.58, and that is aligned with this rising white line 20 SMA sitting close to 427. So Nvidia if we short it here definitely you got paid but right now watch the support if that breaks then definitely we're going to see another drop down to 439.35 to close this gap and below that we also got this gap down here. To the upside above 450 this thing can run and like I said nothing but blue sky nvidia again we're going to see another new all-time high on netflix is down close to two percent and this thing getting a false breakout back to back what two three days and especially on friday we saw early in the morning pre-market this thing running all the way up to 460 and then coming all the way back down to where i got in uh 448 for uh 49 went back up to retest upper Bollinger Band and if you look at it getting rejection from this level where I sold out 456.48 this thing came down again with the market took out the support 450 also took out blue line 5 SMA right here 443.65 and now trading above orange line 13 SMA 438.32 uh, so Netflix we do have support 438.32 orange line 13 SMA and below that 435 and then the gap all the way down here at 421. To the upside Netflix needs to break 450 and if that happens guys not only 460 we're going to see 480 to 500 on Netflix and especially with good earnings that is possible or possibly coming all the way down here to close this gap at 409.54. On Tesla stock is up 1.25% and on Friday Tesla coming down to 276 not even touching rising blue line 5 SMA sitting at 274 the critical support and going back up almost a $10 move on Friday all the way up to 285 from the lows and now trading at 281.38 at the closing up on the day $3.48 so on Wednesday we got earnings from Tesla and this thing on Wednesday, we're going to see Tesla make it or break it, guys. We could see a massive breakout over 300 or Tesla coming down and closing at least some of these gaps down here. And that would be at 264.45. I don't see Tesla coming down here even with bad earnings, 235. But, you know, never say no, right? Now on Tesla going into Monday, support level to watch, 274. Blue line 5 SMA and that's going to be an absolute dip buy for a day trade on Monday. Below that we also have support at 270 rising 13 SMA and then white line 20 SMA 266 and then the gap at 264 also have support at 
262. To the upside, Tesla can hold above blue line 5 SMA, 274. We're going to see a straight shot all the way up to 288.96 and then 300. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend, everybody.